Hi, this is Stephen Sturman from XL8 Sports and Indiana Sports Network. And today we have the privilege and honor to interview Brandon Martin, who makes his return to the field this year in 2022 for the Ball State Cardinals. Uh, thank you for being here, Brandon, and uh, welcome to Indiana Sports Network and XL8 Sports. Thanks for having me. I mean, it's it's uh, it's an honor for me to be here. You know, uh, I'm just grateful to be able to be talking to you today. Brandon, one of the biggest things I think this team missed last year was your presence on the field because you've gone through the, the Arizona bowl, the bowl, the big win out west over San Jose State. You bring serious leadership to this team. You always have done that. You made you you know how to tackle people and, and to if they're short yarded for the other team, you know how to stop that. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about what you are going to bring back to Ball State football this year. Well, I just want to try to add into. Uh, add back into what these guys and what this group has created because there's a number of great leaders on this team. Um, you know, you got to talk about guys like Clayton Call and, and the Cole Pierces and the John Paddocks, um, you know, the Nick Jones. You could go on and on and name names of guys on this team who have stepped up and um, who have, you know, really taken, taken charge of this team. And I just want to try to be an asset to those guys, an asset to this football team, and, um, and bring – what I have always tried to bring, which is great effort and uh, just trying to be the best teammate that I possibly can and, um, you know, trying to bring some of that experience uh, back to the back to the field and just want to try to help the team win games. Two years ago, you were the MAC Defensive Player of the Year. You earned every pin of that because I watched two, two or three games you were playing in, including we were in Arizona. Mm -hmm. What from that can you help out the younger guys? I know Cole's here. He's got the – Clayton's got the experience. Yeah. What are some of the, young, the, some of the things you can teach some of these younger guys I mean, I know Cosby isn't here, the other side of you. Right. But what are some things you can teach these younger guys about how to play the game? Yeah, I think it just it comes down to your habits. Uh, your habits and, and what you do every single day is what is going to allow you to get to whatever level you want, whether your level is defensive player of the year, your level is a starter on special teams. No matter what that is, your habits are going to help you to get there. So uh, your goals have to reflect your habits, and if you're uh, – goals don't match them, uh, then you have to be able to make some adjustments and, and do what you need to do to, to get in the right direction. So that's just something that I try to uh, show to the young guys that it's all about habits and doing the right thing. And Brandon, these habits, where, where did you go to high school at? And talk about, did the coach, did you have it in you at the high school or did the coach bring that out of you and who he was? Yeah, I, I can definitely say that my coaches brought that out of me. You know, I had, I went to Lawrence North High School, mm -hmm. uh, northeast side of Indianapolis. And... Um, I had a head coach, Coach Patrick Mallory, who has done a great job with that program, and and even had a had another coach by the name of Todd Sox that really took me underneath his underneath his wing and showed me how to be a leader and try to uh, and, and bring that out of me, bring that work ethic out of me. So just extremely grateful uh, to those two guys, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you're looking at this year, this year's team, of course, Drew graduated and and Josh Paddock's the new quarterback. Any anything when you're looking at how they're running the offense, we don't want to give away anything that's going on. Sure. But uh, Mike, Coach New, just said that he's making really, really good progress after yeah. being Plitz understudy for three years. Mm -hmm. Do you see the same thing from the defense, defensive side of the ball? That okay, I tried that on him and it didn't work this time. He's learning. <laughs> I'll tell you what, John is the, is the ultimate competitor. I mean, he he brings it every day and uh, he makes a play on you. Uh, you're gonna know about it mm -hmm. and. Uh, I tell you what, I mean, that, that's something that really people feed off of. When your quarterback has that type of energy, um, it's a great thing for the whole team. And, and obviously, Drew is, Drew is a great quarterback here, brought us a MAC championship, did so many great things, and now he's on into the NFL. But John is, John is a great quarterback, and uh, I can't wait for him to have the opportunity that he's going to have to be able to show everybody else what we've been seeing for the past couple of years. One thing, Brandon, also is you've always, even in high school with, with, with Pat, because uh, Pat's a good long-time friend of mine, as you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, were you able to learn, I guess, learn tails, watch tails? Everybody has a tail, no matter if it's a lineman, a, a tight end, or whomever. Uh, did that take maybe, because high school, college mm -hmm. is totally different. Sure. So when you're doing that in college, are you? I know you, two years ago you were really able to read tails really, really well because we watched it. Yeah. So something else you teach the kids or help them with? Yeah. Um is is in like uh, reading like what like the uh, offensive line? Yeah. yeah, I think that I mean the offensive line is gonna more often than not. I mean different offensive lines give you different things, and there's different things that you can look at and film that week that they are gonna show that more maybe more prevalent than other teams. Mm -hmm. um, 
But you know, if a if a guard's sitting back on his heels, if a if a tackle is really high in his stance, kind of looking out, trying to see what the kind of the pressure is. Don't give away all your secrets. Hey, you know, <laughs> uh, but you know, just just little things like that. Mm -hmm. And and the thing about it is, is there's every offensive line has different ones, so mm -hmm. it's it, it's almost it's honestly kind of fun. It's like a puzzle piece that you kind of got to figure out during the week when you're playing a team. And um, yeah. Where are you at right now in, in, in at Ball State? I know you graduated, but where are we at now as far as education is? Because not only is Brandon uh, uh, an, ex an excellent football player, he's an excellent student in the university too. Yeah, so I, I've completed my, my undergrad degree, my marketing degree uh, with the Miller College of Business and uh, working to finish by the end of um, – by the end of this uh, calendar, well, no, by the end of next year, mm -hmm. um, I'll have completed my MBA. Like 2024? So. I mean 2023? Yes. Okay. So in, in, in 2023, I'll have my MBA, and uh, that's always been a big goal of mine, to be the first person in my family to, to obtain a second degree. So I'm super happy and uh, want to continue to strive towards that goal while striving towards these goals on the field as well. We asked Coach to do the same thing. I'm going to ask you, Tennessee. First game, Nyland Stadium. What's that going to be like? You stepping out there, representing Ball State in the SCC. Yeah, well, any opportunity that we get to, to show everybody what Ball State football is all about, I mean, we're, we're definitely going to take that and uh, try to do the best that we can. But it's a great opportunity. Uh, it's a great opportunity for this uh, for this whole team to show um, an SEC team what Ball State's about. And we're looking forward to the uh, ch to the challenge of them. And we know that uh, you know Tennessee is looking like. Or they're, you know, they're uh, they're going to be a good team this year. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, uh, we believe that we're a MAC championship caliber football team, and we can't wait for the challenge of playing a, a SEC team. This is Steven Streaming XL, XLH Sports Indiana Sports Network with Ball State's defen uh, former Defensive Player of the Year, who is back for his 2022 season. Brandon, we're looking forward to seeing you and the Ball State Cardinals out there competing and winning football games in the MAC this year, and hopefully, will get us another Western Championship. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you.